What's up guys, it's LegendX Jorona and today I have another topic video for you guys. In today's topic video, I want to give a quick discussion on why I think that Neo could possibly be revealed to be in the Fighter Pack 3 for Injustice 2. As you guys know, the Fighter Pack 3 is scheduled to be revealed this Friday during the E-League World Championships, which of course has a lot of people hyped. Speculations are beginning to get thrown around again and everyone's just ready to figure out who these last three characters will be. As some of you guys may already know in the past, I said that I think that these last three characters will be Adam who I predicted before his reveal, Enchantress, and Rorschach. That being said, I'm beginning to wonder if instead of Rorschach, what would happen if we got Neo from the Matrix instead, due to him actually having a good chance of being in now. So if you guys enjoyed this topic video, don't forget to drop it a like to help support this channel, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for all things Injustice 2. Okay, so to start, my main reason for changing my viewpoint on who the character in the silhouette could be from Rorschach to Neo is because of the recent interview that Ed Boon had during the Brazil game show, which I'll go ahead and play the clip for right now. We, we have a, a, um, another fighter pack that we're going to be announcing pretty soon. Um, in, in that fighter pack, there is a, 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 a character who's going to be a bigger surprise than any any character we've ever done oh my god Mortal Kombat or Injustice um, oh my god so so you know keep an eye out for that one that's gonna uh, raise a lot of uh, uh, attention from people it's gonna be this year or next year the announcement can you tell the that the announcement oh this year this year oh yeah oh my yeah. god now hearing how Ed says that this character will be the biggest character that they've done in any Injustice or Mortal Kombat game definitely changed up the whole game. The biggest character done between all Injustice and Mortal Kombat games is a pretty bold statement to make so expectations are going to be pretty high for this surprise character. Being bigger than any character from both the Injustice and Mortal Kombat games also makes me believe that it's safe to assume that this character will be a guest character. Most characters that he has either hinted towards or that just comes out of nowhere tends to be a guest character. Mortal Kombat X had 4 guest characters with Injustice 2 currently sitting at 3 so it wouldn't really surprise me to see them add another one. That being said I think that Rorschach's chances just went down a bit based on that because I don't think he has hype on that scale and the fact that he technically wouldn't be considered a guest character because DC does own the rights to the Watchmen characters and pretty much the whole story. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Rorschach and would like him to be in, but I just don't see his gameplay or him as a character being hype enough to be described as the biggest character that they've done in both Injustice and Mortal Kombat. However, as I said before, I do think that Neo could possibly fit the statement for many reasons. To start, there's that one poll that we got from Ed on Twitter a while back where he asked, if Keanu wouldn't want to be Neo in Injustice 2, who should we have as Neo? Which then he had as options. Val Kilmer, George Clooney, Michael Keaton, or Ed Boon himself. Now the funny thing is that Ed Boon won the poll, but I think that the options on the poll are still pretty interesting. If Neo was to be in the Fighter Pack 3, and if he was played by any of these celebrities, that would definitely be something that would be pretty big for NetherRealm Studios game. Personally, I could only see Keanu playing him, but either ways, I think it would be something that would be pretty exciting to see happen and could be considered the biggest thing that they've done DLC character-wise amongst their games. To also add on to all of that, Neo doesn't look that far off from the last male character silhouette. He has a trench coat-like jacket and the top could be his slit back hair. And if that wasn't enough, just like Hellboy, the Matrix movies are also getting a reboot as well, so that just helps things line up even more. Now I'm not saying that Neo is 100% confirmed or is 100% going to be in the Fighter Pack 3, but I think that there's a good chance that he could be. It definitely would be interesting to see how they'll do his gameplay. I would love to see them add in all the quick dodging that we've all been known to call the Matrix. With all that being said, the character could still be Rorschach considering that Ed did make the poll about adding in a Watchmen character, but if I had to be honest, they could always just make a Watchmen character as a premier skin considering that the more notable ones, minus Dr. Manhattan, are kind of similar to characters who are already in the game, though that's just my own opinion. But after all that, what do you guys think about Neo possibly being in the Fighter Pack 3? Would you want to see him added in, or would you rather have Rorschach or maybe even a different character? Be sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like to help support my channel. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification taco bell to keep up with all things Injustice 2. 
Also, don't forget to check out the first three episodes of my big YouTuber collab series, The League. This is Legend X Ronin, and I'll see you guys later.